Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today I'm going to be going over the team of the week. I'm sorry for the video being up late. Uh, I got home from work and I had a couple of things to take care of when I got home, so I hadn't had a chance to record until now. Uh, so this video is going to be going up probably around midnight, maybe a little bit later. Uh, but we have the new team of the week, which is what I'm going to go over now. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, do. I told you all that AJ Green would be a team of the week player if Mutt wasn't if they weren't stupid, which which they proved not to be and made him a team of the week card. So I was able to sell my AJ Green for 70k last night, and then I bought one back today for 55k, made a nice little profit. I thought the profit may be a little bit bigger, but there's the uh, AJ Green I just purchased. But it was still some profit, and hey, it, it's worth something. But Let's go ahead and hop into this. We'll look at the solo challenge first. I have not knocked this out, obviously. I haven't had time yet, but I'm going to knock out some solos tonight while I watch the uh, the Rams and the 49ers play. But Team of the Week, you get 2,000 coins and a Team of the Week item that goes into the Team of the Year set, so we'll go over that. This may be the time for you to make your second accounts if you don't have one. I haven't actually started one this year, but I probably will start one up here about pretty soon here i'll probably end up firing up a second account uh but the team of the week sets we have the aj green team of the week set team of the week upgrade player exchange and uh, game of the week exchange and then the team of the year we've got the preseason the ones still here uh but the team of the year you need 16 of the collectibles which you'll get over the 16 that's kind of weird so team of the year will come out in week 17 or they made this so that you can have it completed, that you can miss a week and still complete this. If they made it so that you can miss a week and still complete this, that's really nice of them. Uh, kind of a nice thing to do, because, you know, some weeks, you know, finals or something like that, you just can't get on for that week, uh, or for whatever reason it may be. Uh, kind of nice of them if that's the case, that they're going to give you a week to get that thing set and completed. The game of the weeks, we'll go over those right here. So we've got the Broncos, uh, Panthers, Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders, Saints, Bengals, Jets, and Cowboys, Giants. There were a lot of good games this weekend, so I have no problem with any of these. Maybe I would have put the Cardinals, Patriots, but we don't need to, we don't need to uh, worry about that. These are just... Regular collectibles, we don't need to care too much about that. Nothing too big of a deal here. Hopefully their prices are a little bit more reasonable and not really. They're about 6k a piece, I'm guessing, which is not... Okay, this one's 3.8, so that's 10. Let's see, 10, 10, 6, or not 10, 6, 16,000. 20,000. All right, so you can do this thing for 20... <laughs> let, me sni let me snipe that real quick. Mid-video, I was like, it took me a second to register that. I'm really surprised that it actually didn't sell. So that was so it's like 26,000 to complete this thing, which isn't horrible, seeing as what you can pull, but it's not great. Uh, because we do have this Bruce Irvin, the Carson Wentz is actually dwarf a decent bit, but the rest, of these three, the odds that you actually pull this Bruce Irvin are so low, it doesn't make any sense. So, let's take a look at these, though. First, we have the, the Sean Shedd, who's going for 6,200 quarterback. He's got the Seahawks chemistry, which actually makes him kind of a little bit more valuable, uh... Because you compare him with Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas, because you can't pair Richard Sherman. No one's paying Richard Sherman's price t in order to get that chemistry. But he's got eight. Oh, these stats. Oh my gosh, these stats are not very good. 87 speed, 87 excel, 81 agility, 78 man, 82 zone, 79 press, 78 play recognition, and 66 catching. This band's man, this card is some hot garbage. I can't recommend this card in any... 89 jumping. There we go. There's the one stat that I couldn't recommend this card to anything. That card's horrible. Let's just move on from that to Spencer Ware, kind of the fantasy. The guy everybody played in Daily Fantasy, and he paid off. 
Actually, actually, less people than I thought would played him in DFS. It's only like 25% cash games, so that was kind of weird. But Spencer Ware had himself a really nice game. There was a while, there was a while before the game where Jamal Charles, you know, they didn't think he was going to play, so Spencer Ware was going to get all the carries. Then there was a chance Jamal Charles was going to play, and Spencer Ware became irrelevant. And then Jamal Charles got rolled out, and then it was Spencer Ware and maybe Sharkandrick West splitting carries, and then. Really close to the game time, it came to Spencer Ware was going to get all the carries, uh, but he's going for 7K, 86 speed, 83 agility, 88 acceleration, 93 carry, 87 uh, ball carrier vision, 74 elusiveness, 89 trucking, and 79 juke move. Uh, so he's kind of like a poor man's, I guess, DeMarco Murray. He's got better carrying, but he's like a poor man's DeMarco Murray or one of those trucking elusiveness backs like a David Johnson kind of. I think David Johnson's uh, stats are similar to that, are they? Or am I mixing up? Yeah, see, no, no, I was mixing it. Oh, David Johnson's are actually closer than I thought. Is it? Okay, he's like the opposite of Charles Sims. There you go. That's what I was thinking of, Charles Sims. I, th I thought Charles Sims, one of them had like a dramatic split like that. So Spencer Ware, actually a pretty decent card. Let's take a look at his 68 catching, so not the greatest. Uh, what's his pass blocking? 69 pass lock, not half bad. So not a bad card. Will end up probably being a decent budget card for what he's going for. Pretty good budget halfback, especially with that 93 carry. Should hold on to the ball for you. So now we have Alexander going for 11k. K1 Alexander, this chemistry is battle ready, and it makes tackle battle mechanics always use the A button. I would, you know, would have made more sense if they made it always the B button, that it would kind of go together. Battle ready, chemistry sign is a B, hit B, make more sense, but he's got 87 speed, 84 awareness, 85 tackle, 84 play recognition, 76 block shed, 87 pursuit, 74 zone coverage, and 87 hit power. That's actually good zone coverage at 74. He's got 62 catching, not horrible. Jumping in at 85, not bad either. He can rush the quarterback, not bad. Pursuit at 87 is pretty darn good. His man coverage isn't bad either. 87 hit power, not a bad card at all. For an 82 overall, not bad at all. Moving on to the Carson Wentz, who is actually going for a lot more than he should be, going for 23,750 coins. Uh, 83 overall quarterback with 81 speed. i not sure if he's just hard to pull, because 81 speed isn't really that good. Like, if you're worried about speed on your quarterback, just go pick up this, this Tyrod Taylor that I'm running. This man's got 84 speed, so, and not that, eh, his throw mid is kind of bad compared to it, but the stats aren't too bad compared to that, and the play action, I don't really get that stat, I've never had any problems with play action players, like, your play action can be like a 50, and I don't really see the bet, I, I think I know what it does, but it's not too big of a deal, neither is throw on the run, I've never had issues with that. And the throw accuracy deep really haven't had issues. Really haven't had issues with the Tyler Taylor in general. So I don't have any things to say about his stats. Like they look not that great, but he's played really well for me. So I, I can't bash the card. Uh, but Carson Wentz, 81 speed, 80 awareness, 88 throw power, 86 throw accuracy short, 85 throw accuracy mid, 81 throw accuracy deep, 82 play action, and 86 throw on the run. So not bad. What is his carry? 73 carry. That's actually a pretty decent carry. Means he'll hold on to the ball at least. Is there anything else that's important here? Other than the train interrupting my video by going on behind me. I guess not behind me, but out the window. Uh, no, there aren't any other report stats, but definitely not a quarterback worth 20,000 coins. Like, just do one of the team hero sets and get the elite Alex Smith or, uh... Kirk Cousins, their stats are really good, and it actually helps you progress towards man of the month anyway, so I would suggest doing those anyway, but let's move on to the Bruce Irvin. I'd really only suggest this Carson Wentz card to any, like, Eagles fan. I'm not sure how many North Dakota State fans are interested in this Carson Wentz fan, but there are, or Carson Wentz card, but there are North Dakota State fans out there. But here we go with the big boy, Bruce Irvin, 115,000 coins. 85 overall left outside linebacker, and this is the one thing that annoys me about these sets. 
is that this Bruce Irvin is not a 100,000 coin card. I wish we had like a collectible or something that could be the expensive card because this is kind of, this kind of sucks for Raiders fans. You know, you want to get the Bruce Irvin, you want to get the new Raiders card, but you're never going to, it's never going to be worth it for you to buy ever, ever. No one is going to use this Bruce Irvin on their team because it just doesn't make any sense. He's an 85 overall. It doesn't make sense to use him on your team for the coins that he's always going to be worth because his AJ Green is always going to be a 100k at least, probably. So the Bruce Irvin will never get to where it should be at around 30,000, 40,000 coins. It's always going to be up in the 50, 60, 70, maybe even the 100,000 coin range. So it's never actually going to be really worth it. But we'll take a look at his stats. Uh, 86 speed, 74 strength, 87 acceleration, 89 tackle. 83 play recognition, 84 block shed, 93 pursuit, and 87 hit power. Let's see hidden stats here. 70 catching, 84 jumping, not bad. Pursuit at a 93. He's got good zone and man coverage, which is nice. Good play recognition. Catching traffic is not half bad for a linebacker. But see, that Bruce Irvin is a nice card. I might even consider buying him if he wasn't so expensive and involved in this AJ Green set that I really want. I really want this AJ Green. But let's go take a look at the now other cards. We have the AJ Green and then we also have the Harrison Smith. So we'll take a look at the AJ Green first. His base card going for 63k now. Uh, actually went up. It was down to 55, like I said. That's where I bought mine, and then it went up. Went a little bit back up here to 63k, uh, but this Agent Green going for 169,000. I saw a guy snipe one for like 120. I thought about buying it, and I was like, nah. And then it went back up in price here. It was down at like 140 when the guy got it for 120, and I was like, that's not enough profit to risk not being able to sell it for that, and then having to actually lose coins. But it would have been a good idea because he went back in, up in price. But he's an 89 overall wide receiver. With eight, we can actually, because I have the 87, we can actually compare these two. Uh, 88 speed compared to 87, 90 catching when it went up one, stayed the same with elusiveness, went up in one in spec catch, same release, up one in route running, up two in catch and traffic, and up one in jumping. So not that big of an increase, but the speed is nice, the catching, the jumping, catching traffic are nice upgrades. Same with the spec catch. The the uh, route running is not huge. Once it's up that high, it's not really a huge deal. They tend to run the routes pretty well. Uh, any other major stats here? Change. Awareness stayed the same. Carrying stayed the same. Elusiveness. Ball carrier vision. His stiff arm went up one. His spin move went up one. And his juke move went up one. Injury, and injury went up by 3, and stamina went up by 2. Not that those stats are too important, but those did go up. So, and a decent improvement. Not worth what he's going for right now. Not worth 100k more than what he is now. Now, why would you... Oh, they were two up for the same price. I see this way too much when there's a card more expensive and it sells over the cheaper card. It just doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? Uh, but let's take a look at the final card here. We've got the Harrison Smith. Let's go ahead and go to the Vikings and free safety. So Harrison Smith already has his base elite, but here is the 48 hour. It says limited time. Is it 48 hours or just a limited time? Okay, it, it might actually be shorter limited than than uh, 48 hours, but let's go over the stats here. I'll get that information for you guys here by the end of the video. Most of you probably already know it, but I'll let you guys know for sure. He's got 87 speed, 88 acceleration, uh, 89 play recognition, 82 tackle, 70 man coverage, 89 zone, 87 pursuit, and 90 hit power. That's some really nice hit power. He's got the field general chemistry. I think AJ Green had the deep threat chemistry. And let's take a look here. Anything important? 73 catching. What's his jumping? 85 jumping. So he's not going to get you too many jump balls, but he will get you a few. I, I guess not 
that's not the proper way to put it. He's not going to out-jump a lot of guys, but he's not going to out-jump a lot of the tall receivers, but he won't be horrible in jump balls, I guess. I don't know how, I don't know how much exactly that, that plays into it, like how much, uh, jumping plays in, but it has to play at least some into it. He can rush the quarterback, has decent block shed there, uh, see here his man coverage isn't horrible out of 70 he has pretty good stamina hit power his biggest asset I'm surprised they didn't give him the big hitter chemistry because we've had a lot of uh issues with the big hit so I'm wondering I'm wondering exactly what uh wh what they're going to be adding because because some of the big hit guys aren't even don't even have like big hit hit power so I'm not entirely sure what, uh, not exactly sure what they're going for with the big hit, because I would have thought, you know, some of the bigger hitter safeties would be the big hit chemistry, but they're not, and some of the non-big hit guys are having big hit chemistry, so I'm not entirely sure how they're doing that. Uh, it says that the, uh, Harrison Smith is in packs from Monday at 2 p.m. to Wednesday at 10.30 a.m., so it's like, it's like 45 and a half hours, I think, if I did, no, I didn't do that math right, it's like 43 and a half, I don't know, that's three and a half hours short, so, that's 24 and a half hours, right, I think it's 24 and a half hours, or four, I can't even do the math right, it's 44 and a half hours, god, I hate math, but it's 44 and a half hours that that's in packs. But there are also some all pro packs available if you want to do those. Should be a bundle available. What's the bundle? Six all pro packs and the topper is one team of the week item. So most likely you're getting a uh, the team of the week item is probably going to be one of those collectibles over anything. So be expecting that. If you buy this, don't be expecting anything else other than it to be one of those collectibles. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.